The Wall of Champions is a new addition inside the LSU Gymnastics Training Center, but you'll notice that the top shelf is ready for 2018 and what might go on it inside LSU Gymnastics coming up right now. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is brought to you each week by Women's Hospital. The best birthday ever is at Women's. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue, and Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. Happy New Year to you and yours, Tiger fans, and welcome inside LSU Gymnastics. For the first time in the 2018 season, we come to you as always from the LSU Gymnastics Training Center in Baton Rouge, and I'm delighted to be your host again this season. I'm Mike Smith, and as always, joined by Hall of Fame head coach, Didi Bro. Didi, welcome again. It seems like just yesterday we were hoisting championship trophies over our heads in 2017. And my goodness, we flipped the calendar. Here we are in 2018, already one week in, and what a week of gymnastics it was. It's been a great week, Mike, and time just goes by so fast. You know, yeah. You know, here we are, 2018, and had a great start, a fabulous crowd. Everything about Friday night was magic. It was indeed a record setting crowd of almost 11,000 Tiger fans packed into the PMAC to watch LSU take on Arkansas, not only to start the season, but to start the SEC, Dee, Dee which is just a gauntlet of wonderful teams. You know, we kind of took a chance opening up that early, and, you know, we rescheduled Arkansas for that weekend because they wanted to come with us to a meet that's going to be on the podium. So to be able to schedule them that early in our season also allowed us to have six home meets, which we were excited about. And of course, it allowed the SEC Network to come in and broadcast it live, and they took uh, almost 25 minutes yeah. of our introductions, which was a lot of fun, not only for us, but for our fans as well. well Just set a tone. Is, it's so special. Mm -hmm. and, and then to drop the banners, we had four incredible banner, banners, so many wonderful things, accolades that, that happened last year, and you know, to, to be able to decorate the PMAC with that kind of um, accolades is amazing. And of course, the team was raring to go and yeah. some new faces that we'll talk about and some returning veterans and you shot out of a cannon for the vault in the first rotation Didi how about Lexi Priestman sticking that landing for a 9-9 and she takes her first vault title well you know Lexi's kind of been in and out she had a little bit of a, a surgery she had a scope on her knee right after Christmas right when we got back from the holidays and um, she has just really worked hard to be where she is. That's two events she did, and we're looking forward to more. But the whole vaulting lineup did a great job. And uh, a lot of sticking, a lot of great vaults. Erin Mekadeg started us off. I thought she did a fabulous job. Um, but uh, we're showing a little bit of depth because we, we weren't able to vault. Two of our steady lineup people, mm -hmm. two of our one and a half vaults, we pulled them out and um, really yeah. showed that we've got some depth. Freshman Sarah Edwards yeah. makes her first appearance right off the bat in the middle of that vault lineup. Yeah. Wow, what a well, you ball know, that's a new vault. Bob's done a great job with her. Beautiful in the air, and you can see she wasn't quite ready for the landing. She pulled her foot up, but that vault's only going to get better. And when you've got a freshman uh, that, that's doing what she's doing and working as hard as she is, we're excited. Juliana Canamella and Sarah Finnegan yeah. also with outstanding vaults. The Tigers in excess of 49 on the event, so you feel like you've got the momentum. And then and my goodness, we go to the uneven bars, Dee Dee, and it was just like we left off from last year. Well, you know, how about our little freshman, Sammy Durani? Fabulous job. Look at the extension. The handstand positions are, are just absolutely beautiful. And from, from hand to toe point, she is an incredible bar worker. Uh, big release moves and a nice dismount. Here again, the dismount's going to get better, making the transition from soft landings in our practice gym to nice firm landings. I think she is really going to be a great asset in that event. First bars effort for Sammy Durante, the freshman from Athens, Georgia. And then Maya Hambrick follows. She ties a career high. The first of four Tigers on the event to tie a career high. Unbelievable 49-6 team score, Dee. Yeah. Unbelievable consistency. Well, you know, you've got, we've got a lot of um, veterans in that lineup. And, you know, Sammy being the only freshman, and then you go Maya, Ruby, Kennedy, Edney, Lexi Priestman, Sarah Finnegan, 
all of those kids are experienced and and Jay really is a taskmaster and does a fabulous job planning their training, planning their workout so that they peak at the end of the week. Kennedy Edney and Sarah Finnegan tie for the Bars title with 995 scores yeah. in week 1, two of the higher scores in the nation uh, for week 1 Deedee. And at the halfway point of the meet, not only was the crowd enthusiastic and into it, but your Tigers, you, you know, you just felt like that there was a level of comfort that was over the team and everybody was in their place. Well, you know, we practice that in the gym. We do a lot of inter-squad work, a lot of pressure on the kids in practice, and we feel like putting pressure in the practice arena will carry over in the PMAC. And, um, they, they love what they're doing. They, they really enjoy the transition from practice to competition. And, um, it was it showed Friday night. Well, our highlights is always brought to you by TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. And when we come back after this quick timeout, we'll take a look at the second half of LSU in Arkansas. Week one of LSU gymnastics. We'll be right back. You're a mom the moment you see that second line. And it's time to get ready, because this birthday takes months to plan. Find the doctor who just clicks with you. Make a birth plan that's right for you. Because every woman wants something different, even you and your BFF. And when it's finally time, our doctors and nurses will be by your side as you bring your beautiful baby into this world. The best birthday ever is at Woman's. Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> All I wanted was a chance to play today. You know it's tough, kid, but we've both been in your shoes before. Yeah, right. You guys are great. Come on, I have someone you want to meet. You know the only way to become great is to learn from a legend. Billy Cannon! Hey, gang, come on in here. We're going to talk some football. Big day today. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a normal day in a normal place with normal crawfish prepared 36 ways. Maybe today you'll make that breakthrough. And maybe tonight you'll break through too. Maybe it'll rain. Maybe you'll shine. Or today could just be one of those days. For the unpredictable and the unencumbered, at LSU, maybe counts for a little something extra. Maybe. Absolutely. When you're more than a fan, the game never ends. Greatness doesn't live in the end zone, at the net, or above the rim. It lives within every LSU student athlete. And it's your calling to bring out their greatness. On the field, in the classroom, and in life. We are the Tiger Athletic Foundation. For decades, we've been the team behind our Tigers. Join us. Be more than a fan. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Welcome back inside LSU Gymnastics from the LSU Gymnastics Training Center in Baton Rouge with Dee Dee Bro. I'm Mike Smith. Well, this week's exceptional performance of the week brought to you by Woman's Hospital. The best birthday ever is at Woman's. Dee Dee, I guess we got to give it in week one to our friend Sarah Finnegan, 3965 in the all around. It's a career high. And she's just so calm. Mm. She goes through a competition and um, she pay, pays a lot of attention to the details of what she's doing, but sh as a junior now, she's beginning to give a lot of herself to her teammates, and there's a lot of gratification in that. An amazing effort by Sarah Finnegan, your outstanding and exceptional performance of the week. Dee Dee, over on the balance beam, you start the second half of the meet coming off of all of that momentum from the uneven bars, yeah. and it's time to, what, settle a bit and focus in on that four inches that you have. 
Well, you know, Ashley Nat has been over at Beam doing a, a, a lot of the the day-to-day -day stuff on Beam, and she's, I think she's done a fabulous job. Erin did a beautiful job until the very end of that routine, but you know, here, here now we have her senior finally doing more than one event. So I think that uh, once she settles into that role of being a multiple event person, her Beam is going to get back where it, where it should be. Uh, but you know, Maya got up there and did a beautiful job. Um, really what we needed her to do is start the lineup mm -hmm. again for us. Um, we had a little bit of scrambling, a little bit of changing in that in that event because you know we lost a lot there. Sure. So you got two freshmen right there in that lineup, Christina Desiderio, beautiful routine, and then she got to the very end. We saw a little bit of a, a body breaks, but um, very very well composed, a lot of confidence, and, and that's only going to get better. Right. And then um, Reagan, Reagan Campbell, Campbell. Mm -hmm. wow. Beautiful routine. She just needs more competition under her belt. But uh, that routine, that event, we're going to see more freshmen. I think we're going to see a lot of freshmen presence in that event. But um, Sarah Finnegan brought it home. Wow. And an amazing effort. Of course, the crowd, very, very interested to yeah. see how she would respond in 2018. And she just was amazing. Lights out on the balance. Beautiful. Page. You know, people say, you know, what about the triple turn? The triple turn hurts that ankle, and she's doing th four events for us. So, you know, we're going to have a solid routine mm -hmm. out of her. Um, consistency is going to win. Taking the long view. Yes. For the entire yes. 28 season yeah. on that one. I'll tell you, Didi, then you go to the floor exercise, and in the PMAC, I'm not sure if there's a more electric atmosphere in all of collegiate sports than when the LSU Tigers inside the PMAC with a packed house yeah. go to the floor in the fourth rotation to seal a meet. Well, you know, the. The score you want to hit is a 197, and you know we don't want that to dictate what we're doing. But we wanted a lot of energy, and you you, you could see in the warm-ups that the the coaches were really being engaged and really kind of firing the kids up and growling like tigers and really trying to get them going. And um, the whole atmosphere in the PMAC, the kids, the fans were anticipating, you know, what's their floor going to be like? Right. You know, we lost three great performers out of their half our lineups gone, and you know we thought we would have Kennedy Adney and. We just, you know, twisted her ankle the day before, and we just could not risk that. Risk it. Right. Ashlyn Kirby goes out there. It's a nice, solid routine. She's got a beautiful presence out there, and the the more we can put her out there, the more comfortable she's going to be. Um, I'm very excited about the hard work and what she's put in. And a 9.875 score to lead you off. That is a career all, high for Ashlyn. All year long. Yeah. Give give us that. You know. Then Aaron McAdag. First time since she's done floor since I think when we were in Vegas That's a couple right. of years ago. And um, she trains floor, but we're really guarded with her. But sure. she loves that floor routine. I, I absolutely think it's one of the best choreographed routines that Ashley Claire Kearney has done. But um, she went out there and just proved that I want to do this event and I'm going to stay in this event. So, you know, that, that's going to pretty much be up to her and how consistent we can train her. Freshman Sarah Edwards was in the lineup as yep. well. It was wonderful to see her, Didi, a, 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 a 9 8 plus score there, mm -hmm. heading towards the back end of that yeah, lineup. Yeah. And then you're building towards Sarah Finnegan and Maya Hamburg. Well, and, you know, those two, that's your one two punch at the end of the lineup. And, you know, you want a one two three punch and you want a one two three to build up to that. But, um, you know, that event, I think we lost more than in any place else. And you can see how hard these kids are working. They're digging in, they're getting their feet underneath them on their takeoffs. And if you get that good vertical trajectory on those, on that, on those tumbling passes, probably you're going to come down in a good place and be able to control your landings. Oh. And I think that Sarah Finnegan and Maya Hambry both demonstrated that uh, that's the direction that this team wants to go. 9-9 nine, nine and 9-9-5 nine, nine, yeah. to end the LSU floor propels you to over a 197 score for the 24th consecutive time, Didi. That is a tremendous achievement. The Tigers take the victory in the SEC to go 1-0 and on the season, both in conference and overall. Now, when we come back, we'll have a great inside look and get you acquainted with few, a few of our LSU freshmen after this time out inside LSU Gymnastics. Hunting is hard. Nothing out here comes easy, and that's why it's important to have the right gear. No matter what Mother Nature throws at us, Magellan Outdoors Apparel has us covered. Available exclusively at Academy Sports and Outdoors.
When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. David specializes in helping first-time home buyers, offering conventional FHA, VA, RD construction, and jumbo loans. David takes the hassle out of getting a home loan while making you feel right at home. Lending the way you like it. Call David today at 921-8152. That's 921-8152. David Alello with Assurance Financial. So what are you going to do with this speckled trout? <laughs> That's right. There's just no doubt about it that this is a place where food is created differently from anywhere else in the world because it just couldn't happen anywhere else. We're a culture made up of so many different people, love of ingredients, love of cooking styles, and they're all right here. At the end of the day, that's all Baton Rouge. We've been hunting since the beginning of time, and part of being a hunter is passing our knowledge on to the next generation. Like the importance of always being prepared, so we only wear Magellan Outdoors. When you're more than a fan, the game never ends. Greatness doesn't live in the end zone, at the net, or above the rim. It lives within every LSU student athlete. And it's your calling to bring out their greatness. On the field, in the classroom, and in life. We are the Tiger Athletic Foundation. For decades, we've been the team behind our Tigers. Join us. Be more than a fan. Big day today. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a normal day in a normal place with normal crawfish prepared 36 ways. Maybe today you'll make that breakthrough. And maybe tonight you'll break through too. Maybe it'll rain. Maybe you'll shine. Or today could just be one of those days. For the unpredictable and the unencumbered, at LSU, maybe counts for a little something extra. Maybe. Absolutely. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by TJ Ribs. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Welcome back inside LSU Gymnastics. Dee Dee, after the Arkansas meet, we had a chance to look over the score sheet and realize that of the 24 routines, seven of them were performed either for the first or second time by LSU newcomers to the lineup, and they absolutely just hit it out of the park. You know, Mike, you got to get them ready. You got to you, you train these kids every day. You've got to give them the opportunity. If they show readiness, if they show that they're prepared in the inner squad and in the practice, then you know, giving them the opportunity to compete and per make mistakes or do great. Mm -hmm. You know, you, but you got to go with them. You got to get them ready. And I think that what we what we did Friday night showed that these kids are going to get ready. They're going to get better. There's room for improvement. But to give them the opportunity and for them to take advantage of that and hit it out of the park was amazing. It to watch. was indeed. And yeah. our Garrett Walvert had an opportunity to sit down with the newcomers to the lineup that you're going to get to know not only in this segment but also for the rest of the season. A championship team uses each player to the best of their ability. And like pieces on a chessboard, each competitor must be set in place to succeed. Dee Dee Bro enters the season with 24 spaces on the board in front of her, six starting spots available across the four disciplines. The master tactician must blend a battle-tested group of veteran performers with seven talented freshmen who are all pushing for a chance to compete. Back from the Super Six are all-around competitors Maya Hambrick, a 12-time All-American, Sarah Finnegan, the reigning national champ on the uneven bars, and Kennedy Edney, the first freshman national champion in school history. When healthy, Coach Bro's opening move is to pencil in this core trio for each meet. In the opener against Arkansas, LSU featured at least one true freshman starter in each discipline, a credit to the outstanding recruiting the coaching staff has undertaken. The freshmen that we had, you know, the, the, the vaulter, you know, Sarah Edwards did a fabulous job vaulting, a little, little bit, you know, skewed on her landing, but, you know, when you're that high in the air and that much juiced up on adrenaline, 
Um, that's going to take a while to settle down. Sammy Durani on bars, she was amazing. Handstands right on top, uh, lots of amplitude in all of her skills, and I think I think Jay has really done a good job of bringing her along because she's you know coming back from from an injury. And as a freshman, you really want to be careful with that. Um, and Balance Beam was loaded with freshmen. Christina Desiderio was fabulous. Reagan Campbell, I think, is the, one of the most beautiful beam workers in the country. She's got beautiful extension, beautiful lines, lots of amplitude. A uh, little bit of breaks throughout, but that's going to come with competition experience. And we've got a couple more freshmen that are ready to go, but not quite in competition. I had no nerves, um, which is really something that's never happened to me before. Um, I, to I felt at ease. Um, I was able to, you know, smile and actually enjoy the routine without feeling the pressure of anybody or anyone. Uh, I'm really excited with the outcome and how everything turned out for the team. She's incredible. She's someone who comes in every day and she gives it her all in the gym, and it definitely shows when she goes out in competition. Um, she was thrown in that floor lineup, and she took it as if she was a senior. I was so proud of her because being a freshman, that's, that's a hard spot. Bro is blessed to have a pair of All-Americans and another All-SEC performer to fill out the rest of her chessboard. Lexi Priestman nodded a pair of 9-9s in the opener on bars and vault and finished last season as the first Tiger to win the SEC bars title in 20 years. Senior All-American Aaron McAdeg competed in three events during the opener and has career highs of 9-9-5 on floor and beam in her career. All-SEC sophomore Ruby Harold matched a personal best with a 9875 on bars in her first meet of the year, a sign of great things to come. With the season just beginning, there are still plenty of calculated moves to be made. But at year's end, it will be Coach Bro looking to have the SEC and the nation's elite in checkmate. Reporting for Inside LSU Gymnastics, I'm Garrett Wolbert. All I wanted was a chance to play today. You know it's tough, kid, but we've both been in your shoes before. Yeah, right. You guys are great. Come on. I have someone you want to meet. You know the only way to become great is to learn from a legend. Billy Cannon! Hey, gang, come on in here. We're going to talk some football. Dirt isn't always bad, like outside dirt. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Also, it comes off. Inside dirt? Yeah, that's way different. But now there's a more powerful Chevron with Tefron. Yeah, it has even more cleaning power to clean up deposits left by low-quality gas. And cleaning up deposits restores lost gas mileage. It's legit. Now with more cleaning power, Chevron with Tecron. Care for your car. Nice hat. Romance. <laughs> Inferno. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> Football. <laughs> Ouija. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Groot. <laughs> Voice remote on contour from Cox. Cable TV reimagined to get you right to the good stuff. Teamwork, integrity, victory. You'll find words like these on banners, bulletin boards, and locker room walls all across LSU. At Dudley DeBosier, these same values are how we built our law firm. And those values are also how we represent and treat every one of our clients. We're honored to be chosen as the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. And we love serving Tiger Nation. Demand Dudley DeBosier, the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. 444-4444. Kennedy, what are y'all doing here so early? We're here to get some extra work in, Dee Dee. Yeah, Dee Dee, the season's here. That's right. We are so fired up. So much pride and tradition. Watch this. LSU gymnastics tickets are less than the movie, so make sure to get yours today. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net.
you'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. Welcome back inside LSU Gymnastics. As always, our look ahead brought to you by David Alello of Assurance Financial, lending the way home buyers prefer it. So the LSU Tigers are off and running yet again to start the 2018 season. Didi, now it's time to take the LSU parade on the road, this time to Gainesville. It's a newly configured arena there in Gainesville. Should be a lot of fun. Well, it's, it's a great place to compete. The crowd is great. It's an enthusiastic crowd. We've had success at Florida, but um, the competition's always good. It's always exciting. And, you know, it's a 7 o'clock start time, Eastern, so it's a central start time. It'll be on, on the SEC network. So, you know, follow the Tigers on the road. It'll be 6 p.m. Central Time on ESPN. You can catch all of the action as the Tigers and the Gators. It'll be a top five matchup yet again, Dee. Yeah. Best of luck there. But I'll tell you, we're already taking a peek around the corner for, for our purposes of selling tickets to the Alabama meet January 19th. Yeah, we don't want to look too far ahead, but man, that's going to be a great, that's going to be a fabulous meet. And actually, it's on my birthday. Oh my <laughs> goodness. What a great way to celebrate. Yeah. Come on out. Let's beat Bama and let's celebrate Dee Dee's birthday. LSUTix.net and the tickets can be yours. I understand that they're really going fast. And if, and if the crowd this week proves anything and that is tickets will be in short supply. Well, everybody's excited. The team's excited. Um, you and I yeah, are excited. Right. So, um, you know, come on out and support us and see what we're all about. We hope you enjoyed our first edition of Inside LSU Gymnastics. It's always fun to be with head coach DD Bro. And I'm Mike Smith and we'll say thank you for joining us yet again. We'll see you next week. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro has been brought to you by Women's Hospital. The best birthday ever is at Woman's. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. And by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. The LSU Sports Television Network is a division of LSU Sports Properties. They are now pushing at all cylinders. Nearly 10,000 people here at the PMAP. 